Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday afternoon, a little muggy outside, Connecticut. It's around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought I'd put another video on. I'm um, just working here. And just calling, gonna, this is a mystery from the mystery box. I got like 20 boxes, and I just go in, take a handful of comic books, and I want to show you what they are. And I haven't seen these in years either. I am Jeff from JT's Comics and Cards. After the video, please give me some thumbs up. Leave some comments. I enjoy reading them. I get quite a few of them. Please hit the notification bell and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Well, the first one here, it's Superman Annual Number 1, 1960. It's too bad it's coverless. But the rest of the book is here. The back is on it, but there's no cover. And near mint with the cover, this is a $2,000 comic book. Of course, it's just good to read. Nice to have. You probably get a few hundred dollars for it if people want it, but I'm just going to keep it for now. Again, it's Superman Annual Number 1, 1960. $2,000 comic book. And this other one here is Giant Size Avengers Number 1, 1974. In the mint, it's $150, but again, it's coverless. The story is all here, the back cover's on. I don't know what happened to the cover, but again, who knows. And the next one's going to be Star Wars Boba Fett Wizard Half. That's a pretty cool, pretty cool comic book. Like I said, I just go in a box, take a handful out, and show you. The Untold Legend of the Batman, number three. It's a miniseries. Here's a new Iron Man, number 200. Tony Stark is Iron Man. Number 200. Micronauts number one, first um, issue. Like I said, I just took a handful of comic books. I just want to show you. They're old, bronze age, some silver age. The House of Mysteries number 110. I mean, it's got wear, but still, it's, it's a cool comic book. Deadpool, The Final Battle, number 19. I used to watch this show, Get Smart. Welcome back, Carter, too. I had some of those comics. This is Get Smart. Most of these, remember this one here, plop number one. Some weird ideas. Superboy number 124. Hellstorm number one. There's hell to pay. There's some different comic books here. Cyberforce number two, his image. Ghost Rider, uh, number what, 45? Rip Clor, number five. By image. I don't think too many, too many of these made it out. Cool artwork, but you know. Another side before us. Zero. Here's a cool one. Batman number 492.
I got a lot more Planet of the Apes and Vampirella Warren magazines I want to do next time. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Blood Ties, part one of five Avengers, number 368. Is Little Lulu. Number 218. You don't see too many of these anymore. Reggie and Me. Giant Side, number 68. 25 cent comic book back then. Now it's like $7. Super Friends, special number one. I don't know, it's a bunch of it's a different bunch of stuff here. I don't know, full length stories. Korak, Son of Tarzan, number 54. This Sunday is the uh, field auction. Uh, Bob Glasses and Sterling. I'm not sure if we're going to buy any more comic books. I got so many, unless they're a good deal. Skull the Slayer, number two. And my cat, come to see hi. Hey, say hi, Fiona. Hey, Fiona. Hey. Werewolf by Night, number 14. I got a dog named Moose, 165-pound Great Dane German Shepherd. Sorry, I'm not going to pick him up. He's downstairs. What if number two? King Conan, number one. I'm going to call this the mystery box. I probably have 20 of these. Ravage, 2099, number one. Robocop, number 22, The Future of Law Enforcement. On Your Man, number 259, Back from the Grave. Yeah, <coughs> I got this one signed by Jim Shooter. G.I. Joe, number one, The Real American Hero. At the comic book show I just went to, they had these for $225. <coughs> I don't know. I got like half a dozen of them. Crazy. Prices are unreal. People aren't selling because the prices are too high. What's this? Deadpool? Number four. And... Last but not least, Marvel Tear starring Spider-Man, number 100. I still have this one here. People are looking at it. It's for $1,000, but I, I go, I'll do better. Iron Man, number one. It's got writing on it. I saw one of these in the show. It was close to $1,000. And, of course, I got people looking, but nobody really took the hook yet. Richard Simmons. $300. It's a nice one in a frame. Again, I'm Jeff from JT's Comics and Cards. Please give me some thumbs up, leave some messages, hit the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day.